Yo, what is up with all, man? Hope you're doing good. And if you're new and you're a fan of the NBA, I suggest you subscribe to my NBA channel. So let's get straight into it. I need to stop pointing at you guys. That's kind of rude. So today we're talking about the Los Angeles Clippers. After the hot start that the Clippers had early in the season, they're now in a real tough, tough slump right now. Now, this is why I didn't get too excited for the Clippers. Because every single year for the Clippers, something like this happens. They end up going good. And the train just crashes. Something happens out of nowhere. And what causes the train to crash for them usually is injuries. And as we speak right now, they are the third worst team in the West. That's tough. The Lakers are better than them. The Clippers right now are sitting with teams like the Mavericks, the Kings, the Suns, and the Lakers. That's who they're around right now. Yeah, it ain't looking too good for them right now. And it's going to be extremely tough for them to turn it around. But a part of the reason why I believe they've been taking so many L's recently is because I believe the voice of the defense, Patrick Beverly, has been injured. And also, I guess it's worth mentioning Danilo Gallinari has been hurt this season too so far. But in my opinion, he has hurt more than helped the Clippers so far this season. This dude is averaging 13 points on 35% shooting from the field and only 26% from the three-point line. That is extremely tough. And I know throughout the Zeus career, he hasn't been the most efficient scorer, but this is an all-time low for him right now. And I should also mention the third new addition for the Clippers is injured, Milos Teledosis. This dude was supposed to replace Chris Paul's court vision. Man, this injury thing is a real deal for the Clippers out here. All these key players are hurt around the same time. Like I was saying, Milos Teledosis, he has some type of foot injury, Patrick Beverly has had a sore right knee for the past few games, and Danilo Gallinari has had a glute injury. I don't know what that is, I ain't taking that too far. That sounds like it's taking it too far for me. That sounds like some foo foo stuff. But hopefully they chill with this little injury bug thing that they're having going on right now. And I just thought of this, if the Clippers don't make the playoffs this season, it may be time to part ways with Doc Rivers. Because let's keep it a band, man. You, me, and you, let's keep it a band. All these past few seasons, the Clippers have done nothing with Doc Rivers. And speaking of Doc Rivers, something that I've noticed when I was looking at some sets, Lou Williams has been balling out like he usually always does. He's shooting really efficient from the field, and he's averaging about 18 points, I believe. And he's getting about 27 minutes a night. And since Patrick Beverly and Milos Teladosis is out, I would have thought he would have gone way more minutes. But no, that's not the case. The dude has his son, Austin Rivers, getting about 33 minutes a night. You know what I'm saying? That's tough. Feel me? And the dude Austin Rivers so far on the offensive end at least hasn't been that efficient. He's not efficient from the free throw line. He's doing good from three, but he's not doing good from the field overall. And he's giving his son more playing time. Now, I mean, I could possibly understand this maybe because the dude Austin Rivers, he's a better defensive player because he's a bigger body. He got a point guards and shooting guards. But man, at this point, what you're doing is not working. You've lost eight games and I believe, dude, just sit, sit your son, man. Is it nepotism out here or what? I don't know what it is. But man, I say if the Clippers don't make the playoffs this year, there's really no excuse besides injuries. Let's be honest, when all these players come back from the little injuries and if they stay healthy, they have no excuse to not make the playoffs. They're better than the Pelicans. They could be better than the Trailblazers. They have the talent. The talent is there. But it's all in the hands of Blake and uh, Doc Rivers. And if Doc Rivers don't take him to the playoffs, say goodbye. Doc Rivers is going to get that treatment. And it's going to be interesting to see what the Clippers do with his son, Austin Rivers. Is he a max player? Hell no. Is he a 15 million a year type of guy? Yeah, sure. I guess he is. But this is the end of the video, man. Let me know what you guys think. Give this video a like and I'll get right with you. Hey, 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 hey,